जो लाइव विजुअल्स कमिंग इन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इन थ्रेची उस लिहाज से तभी जो एयरपोर्ट है This is the Trichy Airport. In fact, the Prime Minister is inaugurating one of the terminals there in uh, Trichy. He was he is accompanied by the Aviation Minister there, Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. We're looking at Stalin, M K Stalin, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, the Governor, uh, who's also right behind the Prime Minister as they inaugurate a terminal in. Trichy, Tamil Nadu. The airport gets a new terminal. Prime Minister Modi to inaugurate that. This is the airport's new terminal. It has been inaugurated. The Prime Minister has done it so that when we talk about the parade, we talk about the industry, we talk about the economic progress. You have Prime Minister Modi, who is currently in Tamil Nadu, just a little while ago, was part of a convocation ceremony where he delivered a speech in all English in the southern part of India. Speaking in English, peppered it with uh, Tamil uh, to a large extent. Prime Minister Modi reaching out to the people of Tamil Nadu and southern India. This is certainly a South Connect right ahead of elections uh, 2024. There are a host of developmental projects that are also being rolled out worth 19,800 crores. Prime Minister Modi in this image here is at the Trichy Airport where a new terminal is being inaugurated. He's the one flagging it off. चवालीस लाख यात्रियों की है और ये जो त्रिचुरापल्ली एयरपोर्ट है यहाँ पर जो विरासत है साउथ की दक्षिण की वो कलाकृतियाँ यहाँ पर मैं वैसे ही जोते रहते हैं सिंधिया डी एविएशन मिनिस्टर देर एक्सप्लेनिंग डी लैंडस्केप ऑफ दैट न्यू एयरपोर्ट इन त्रिची हियर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी टेकिंग अ he is flanked by the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, M.K. Stalin. We believe a warm welcome was given by Stalin by wishing Prime Minister Modi a very happy New Year's soon as he arrived, first at the convocation ceremony and now at the Trichy Airport. You also have R.N. Ravina, the governor, right behind the Prime Minister along with Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. Pramod Madhav, our correspondent in Tamil Nadu, joining us uh, live with all the updates. Pramod, give us more. Trichy gets a new terminal. Uh, Prime Minister Modi to flag that off. It absolutely is a very like important day for the state of Tamil Nadu as the Prime Minister has uh, the first day of his like uh, 2024. He is over here and uh, uh, like you know along with him we have the Chief Minister just like you mentioned, the Governor Arun Ravi is also there. Industrial Minister uh, uh, T R B Raja is also present along with the uh, Union Minister of State L Morgan and uh, Minister Jyoti Raja Sindhya. This is a very important plan that uh, extends another terminal for Trichy and right now uh, Jyoti Raja Sindhya is also explaining about the new terminal as the Chief Minister that everybody are accompanying. Already before that the, the Prime Minister. And the Chief Minister shared the dais at uh, the Vardhasan University, and we were like expecting the, like uh, some kind of important aspects from the speech. But what happened is that both the prior Chief Minister and the Prime Minister uh, were like uh, addressing the uh, uh, students, and they were like actually encouraging the students to go ahead and uh, uh, study and uh, like work hard for the betterment of the nation. That way, their both speeches were very crucial, but it was completely pointed at the uh, students who were studying, like uh, who have got the uh, uh, the. Uh, 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 from Bardar to University, they got a degree today. All right, those visuals there of Prime Minister Narendra Modi with Aviation Minister Jyotir Aditya Sindhya scanning that new terminal in Trichy where it's going to be opened up. Trichy in Tamil Nadu, the Prime Minister there uh, arriving for a convocation first, a uh, convocation ceremony at the Bharti Dasan University where he spoke extensively in English and mixed it with a bit of Tamil. Uh, clear outreach there we see by the Prime Minister in the southern part of India. He's on a two-day visit. He starts with Tamil Nadu, Lakshwadeep, Kerala. These are areas he's going to be visiting as he inaugurates and flags off projects worth 19,850 crores. The Prime Minister right now, as we see the live images coming in from Trichy Airport, where a new terminal is being flagged off by the Prime Minister. Interesting to see MK Stalin walking right behind the Prime Minister. Uh, R.N. Ravi, the Governor, Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. In fact, we hear uh, MK Stalin there has welcomed the Prime Minister, starting off with uh, wishing him a very happy new year.
it was a warm welcome and you must remember this all of this comes right at a time when Tamil Nadu has just recovered or barely limping back to normalcy after the worst floods that affected the state the last three weeks have been horrendous for the state they've been still reeling under that flood crisis um, in fact uh, the state of Tamil Nadu the government there seeking central funds to aid in the flood relief at a time where we're seeing politics playing out around that, you still see the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and M.K. Stalin sharing stage. Pramod is still with us. Pramod, give us a quick sense of uh, Tamil Nadu, the status right now post the floods. Um, we know that the government has sought central funds. They haven't yet received it. There's been a lot of uh, back and forth on that front. Uh, with the Tamil Nadu government also firing salvos at the center for not releasing funds adequate to aid in flood relief. At the same time, we see M.K. Stalin there sharing stage and dais with Prime Minister Modi. We believe warm wishes were uh, given to Prime Minister as he welcomed him, wishing him a happy new year at that convocation ceremony a little earlier. I mean, it surely is like, uh, just like you mentioned, even today morning, even before the Prime Minister could uh, reach uh, Chennai, what happened is that DMK's uh, mouthpiece called Murusali, it actually published an article where it stated like uh, the, the header was whose money, which means like what happened is that there was a kind of issue which as uh, Sports Minister Vodinidhi Stalin, uh, like almost three weeks ago, while well, speaking about the, uh, like, you know, seeking grants for the money, uh, relief money from the centre, he said that like we are not asking for anybody's father's money, we are demanding the taxpayers' money for the state of Tamil Nadu. So what happened is that nearly 12,000 crores is what the Tamil Nadu government has sought for the, uh, the rain damage in northern district and another nearly uh, another 12,000 for the damages caused by the severe havoc of rain in the southern district. So like uh, nearly, uh, like this is what turned out to be an issue where Nirmala Sitaraman actually retaliated to Udini Stalin's speech and uh, uh, she said that Udini Stalin who wants to go uh, like uh, a long way in politics should watch his tongue. But Udini Stalin very clearly mentioned that he will be uh, did not uh, uh, try to disrespect anybody but he will not stop asking for that particular money and this was very clearly uh, reflected in Morosoli's uh, uh, today's uh, uh, article as well. Then what happened is that Morosoli also claimed that even though the state, like center did not give them uh, funds, the state did not wait when they have actually dispersed 6,000 rupees to each family which, which got affected because of the rain and that way the article went ahead. So we thought that definitely there's going to be some kind of uh, a kind of friction between uh, the chief minister's speech or something like that but that, that did not occur. He uh, actually followed decorum and he spoke to the, uh, the uh, students, the chief minister very clearly also made sure that like the achievement of Tamil Nadu when it comes to the Department of Education is because of Dravidian model. He said that a seed that was laid during the Justice Party movement is a reason Tamil Nadu is excelling when when it comes to education, he said it before the Prime Minister and the Governor and the Prime Minister who actually was in Bharatidasan University, he actually quoted words from Bharatidasan itself. And like he, uh, he also addressed the student and he said how before 2014, what was the situation and now how the situation has completely changed. That way the Prime Minister was giving out information about a lot of like uh, uh, developments in the state of uh, in, in India and that's how he spoke. And right now we could see them actually sharing diets and like uh, as Prime Minister is uh, inaugurating various welfare schemes, Nabila. Yeah, various welfare schemes for Tamil Nadu, dedicated to Tamil Nadu. Do we know what, what are the projects coming up uh, for the benefit of the people of Tamil Nadu by the centre, uh, Pramod? Nearly 1,100 crore like what schemes are being uh, actually like integrated by the uh, the Prime Minister and one important aspect is about the uh, uh, demonstration of rapid fuel uh, uh, change that is going to be uh, like in a done in Kalpakam as well and various schemes related to uh, highway roads, uh, uh, transport and uh, railways and uh, gas and various other schemes that will definitely uh, like uh, help Tamil Nadu. Those schemes are actually being inaugurated today. The first and prominent one is the terminal as well which we saw earlier. How India, the minister was actually explaining to the prime minister we're using a model how it's actually going to help in development of uh, uh, the uh, state Nabila. well uh, we're seeing huge crowds there pramod in trichy do tell us more on that massive crowds in uh, trichy they've they've uh, come by to to uh, listen to prime minister modi be part of this big celebration Sri Ranga Perumal Avargal Ranganadar Avargal Vitir Kendra in the Mandirke Samayavuram Mariaman Avargal in the Vitir Kim in the Mandirke Varigan Kendra.
Right, Prabod, uh, we see that Prime Minister Modi is on stage now. Give us more on this event. We see massive crowds there uh, in uh, Trichy who've, who've gathered. Are they there to listen to the Prime Minister? What's the kind of clout the Prime Minister holds in Tamil Nadu? We're seeing huge crowds in uh, Tiruchirapalli at the point where even MK Stalin is seated right beside the Prime Minister. What's the... Uh, who? Has the Prime Minister really drawn this kind of crowd in Tamil Nadu? Do tell us the uh, the affection that he has uh, from the people of that state. Well, he does share, uh, like, you know, he, uh, like, attract a lot of crowd in the state of Tamil Nadu. And the important aspect is that, like, if we have to make a comparison, last time when the Prime Minister came over here, same kind of issue occurred during the inauguration of Vande Bharat, uh, uh, like, trains where the Chief Minister was present. El Murugan, the, the person who's currently speaking, was also present. And then uh, uh, we had the Prime Minister, and there was, like, one set of crowd that was from BJP that was supporting El Murugan and the Prime Minister, whereas there was another set of crowd from DMK which was supporting the Chief Minister. So it became a kind of like show of strength at that point. And this is what similarly we could see, like, you know, we are expecting something like that. But Trichy for now is very quiet and everybody over there wants to listen to the Prime Minister. He was already given a warm welcome over there. And uh, uh, definitely the Prime Minister seems to be very happy with the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the way the crowd has reacted to him. And as we speak, you can also see various ministers, uh, like, you know, from Congress, MLA and, like, and others are also over there, uh, like state ministers are also present over there. And now El Morgan is speaking. And he's also talking about how the, the uh, PM Modi government has transformed the uh, country, Nabila. Mm -hmm. Right. Prime Minister Modi is going to be speaking in just a few moments. Uh, that's what we're expecting. Uh, do we know if he's speaking on this stage as well? He's spoken at the convocation and spoke in English. Very interesting, Pramod, to see the Prime Minister opting for English right at a time when there's a huge language war that pans out between the North and the South, Hindi and other languages. You have Prime Minister choosing very wisely, speaking in English, peppering it with, uh, peppering it with Tamil. How far did it resonate with the crowds? Well, not just English, you also used uh, Tamil terms in between. Like I said, uh, uh, like Nambarji Dasan is a very little poet from the like, state of Tamil Nadu. And his words is also the Prime Minister used. And like, you know the way he speaks and how he can definitely connect to the people. So that way, the students over there were like uh, really happy to see them. And one like interesting aspect he did was that uh, actually like uh, that the students posed along with him for a picture. After the like session was over, he got up and went and met them also. Like... Uh, as he was standing on the uh, stage, he went and met them. So these are like kind of like small gestures that actually go a long way. So that's what he did. And right now, we are also expecting that after El Morgan, the Prime Minister, will definitely, uh, like we're expecting him to speak as well. And we're expecting that the Chief Minister might also have, uh, like, uh, like will speak in the same place. All right. So the Chief Minister is also due to speak there. Um, Prabod, who's speaking right now? Do we see uh, the person taking to... The stage is is just currently uh, giving a big speech. Who's that man? Uh, what kind of introduction is he giving? Look, this is L. Morgan. He was the uh, uh, former president from like uh, BJP before Anamale in the state of Tamil Nadu, and he's currently a union minister of state. And uh, he is one person who started uh, something called as like Vail Yatra, similar to Ram Yatra. Uh, he started here, and uh, he went to these uh, like several temples of Lord Morgan in Tamil Nadu. That too during the COVID period, and he actually was one of the important persons to gather a large crowd. In fact, he's also being credited with getting BJP four MLA seats in the state of Tamil Nadu by which he got elevated to the uh, position of Delhi where he has become a minister now. And uh, like like I mentioned yesterday, like uh, earlier, last time when there was an event where there was uh, like inauguration of uh, uh, Vande Bharat, there was a huge show of strength where one team was entirely over there that was like supporting Prime Minister Modi and Mil El Murugan while the other team was supporting the chief minister. So, but right now we don't see that kind of scenario over there because this seems to be like a, a crowd in Twitch but this this is surely what it does, it, what it does, what Prime Minister Visit does to Tamil Nadu is also boost their cadre, their grassroots cadre in Tamil Nadu, though the DMK, AI, DMK hold the large chunk of the, the political scene in Tamil Nadu. You still have the BJP there uh, gaining momentum, Anamalai there heading that party there. Prime Minister Modi's visit surely gives that kind of boost, much-needed boost to the BJP's grassroots cadre in a state like Tamil Nadu. We're going to uh, take you through a lot more coming in of Prime Minister Modi, his big Vikas push in Tamil Nadu and Lakshwadi. Prime Minister Modi landed into Tamil Nadu. He was received by Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. He will be inaugurating, laying foundation stone of multiple projects worth nearly 19 crores, 19,850 crores precisely. 
this project uh, all of them related to rail road oil and gas and shipping sectors